In today's video, we rank the best vegan sources of protein, but this is going to be with a very important twist. Most people do these lists and just list the foods that are highest in protein. But this is a poor way of looking at protein from foods, particularly plant-based foods. Because it's not the foods that you eat what's the important thing, it's what your body can digest. So in this video, we're going to analyze the common foods that vegans are eating for good sources of protein, and rank them from D to superior to assess how good these foods really are. These foods on the list will also predominantly be from whole food sources and not protein powders, etc. Roll the titles. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. Right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow them stuff for you. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. As always, just a quick reminder that I'm now offering the SIBO, organic acid, stool test, and consult via my website. So if you have any health or digestive problems, then consider taking these tests as they will provide a lot of very detailed information upon which you can start making informed decisions and then start getting your health back on track. And on that bombshell, to the video. So first things first, before we jump into the list, we need to understand how we are measuring how good a protein source the food really is and why this is important. For the purposes of this list, it will be based on a Foods Digestible Indispensable Amino Acid Score, or DAS. DAS accounts for amino acid digestibility at the end of the small intestines, providing a more accurate measure of the amount of amino acids absorbed by the body and the protein's contribution to human amino acid and nitrogen requirements. This was adopted by the Food and Agriculture Organization in 2013 and replaced the Protein Digestibility Corrected Amino Acid Score as this was considered not as accurate. The DS number for the purposes of this tier list will be broken down as follows. S tier is superior protein digestibility, which is 85 to 100. A tier is excellent, which is 75 to 84. B tier is good, 65 to 74. C tier is fair, 55 to 64. D tier is poor, below 55. Now, if a food is lower on the tier list, then it certainly doesn't mean that you shouldn't eat it, but it does mean that you shouldn't rely on a good source of protein and you should combine it with other better sources of protein throughout the week so that you're not running into issues with protein. Finally, I want to give you the practicality of this tier list for your daily eating. So if you're consuming a lot of D tier foods, then you would need to eat approximately 2.11 times more to get the same amount of protein as S tier foods. For C tier, you would need to eat about 1.68 times more, for B tier, about 1.44 times more, and for A tier, about 1.21 times more compared to the S tier foods. This assumes all foods contain the same amount of protein per 100 grams, which they don't, but it highlights the importance of understanding your protein sources. So let's jump into the foods and see how they stack up. So food number one is lentils, Lentils typically have a DS score of between 55 and 65, depending on how these are processed or how they are cooked. Typically lentils, like most foods on this list, will have a higher score when they are cooked in a pressure cooker. Lentils contain approximately nine grams of protein per 100 gram serving, making them a reasonable source of protein. Now in terms of where they go on the tier list, I would say that they are a C. Not great, and ideally you would be combining them with other higher protein sources from the list. Food number two is hemp seeds, and these have a DS score of around 80. Hemp seeds also have around 31 grams of protein per 100 grams of serving. In terms of their place on the tier list, they are a strong A, a good source of protein and pretty good digestibility. Number three is almonds. Almonds have a DS score of around 40 to 50, depending if you are eating them whole or in the form of almond butter. Almonds also have around 21 grams of protein per 100 gram serving, and while reasonable, it is harder to extract the protein. Therefore, in terms of the tier, these are going in the D tier. The next food is quinoa, and most people know this food as a complete source of protein. It has around 14 grams of protein per 100 grams when cooked, so it is a pretty good source of protein, and it has a DS score of around 88, so it's going in the A tier. Food number five is broccoli, and I often hear people say that it's a reasonable source of protein, and this is not accurate. Broccoli has just 2.8 grams of protein per 100 gram serving, and it has a DS score of 45 to 55, 
so it needs to go in the D tier. Food number six is chickpeas, and chickpeas have a DS score of approximately 45 to 55. They contain around 19 grams of protein per 100 grams when cooked, but the digestibility is not that high. Therefore, we will place chickpeas in the D tier. Food number seven is black beans, and with a DS score of approximately 55 to 65, black beans provide around 21 grams of protein per 100 gram serving. While they are a decent source of protein, their digestibility places them in the C tier. Food number eight is tofu. Tofu is a popular plant-based protein source with a DS score of around 83 to 90. It offers around eight grams of protein per 100 gram serving, and given its high digestibility, tofu earns a spot in the A tier. Food number nine is tempeh. Similar to tofu, tempeh has a DS score of around 82 to 89, and contains approximately 19 grams of protein per 100 gram serving. Due to its excellent digestibility, tempeh also belongs in the A tier. Food number 10 is edamame. Edamame has a DS score of around 78 and provides roughly 11 grams of protein per 100 gram serving. This makes it a strong A tier candidate due to its good digestibility. Food number 11 is seitan. Seitan made from wheat gluten has a DS score of approximately 50 to 60. It contains around 25 grams of protein per 100 gram serving, but has lower digestibility. Therefore, seitan goes in the C tier. I am also not keen on seitan generally, as I have seen way too many people have digestive issues from it. Food number 12 is chia seeds. Chia seeds have a DS score of approximately 55 to 60 and offer around 17 grams of protein per 100 gram serving. While they are a fair source of protein, they fall into the C tier due to their digestibility. Food number 13 is pumpkin seeds. With a DS score of around 60 to 65, pumpkin seeds provide around 19 grams of protein per 100 gram serving. They are a reasonable source of protein and fit well into the C tier. Food number 14 is sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds have a DS score of approximately 55 to 60 and contain around 21 grams of protein per 100 gram serving. Like chia seeds and pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds belong in the C tier. Food number 15 is peanuts and peanut butter. Peanuts and peanut butter have a DS score of around 55 to 60 and provide around 25 grams of protein per 100 gram serving. They are a fair source of protein and thus go into the C tier. Food number 16 is spirulina. Spirulina has a DS score of around 56 to 67 and offers approximately 57 grams of protein per 100 gram serving. Given its good digestibility, spirulina is placed in the B tier. Food number 17 is nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast is an excellent source of protein with a DS score of around 80 to 90. It provides around 50 grams of protein per 100 gram serving, making it a solid S tier food due to its superior digestibility. Food number 18 is green peas. Green peas have a DS score of approximately 60 to 65 and contain around five grams of protein per 100 gram serving. While they are a fair source of protein, they fit into the C tier due to their digestibility. Food number 19 is amaranth. Amaranth has a DS score of around 75 to 85 and offers around 14 grams of protein per 100 gram serving. This makes it an A tier food due to its excellent digestibility. Food number 20 is buckwheat. Similar to amaranth, buckwheat has a DS score of around 75 to 85 and it contains around 13 grams of protein per 100 gram serving. Therefore, buckwheat also belongs in the A tier. Anyhow, that's the end of today's video. If you like this tier list and you want me to do other tier lists for the best fruits or best vegetables, for example, then let me know in the comments below. And as always, the only other thing that's left for me to say is to remember to look after your body because it's the only place you have to live. And I'll see you next time.